Hi, this is the basic expansion guide part of the tutorial. Now you might be wondering where you should go next. So you can take a look at this deposit analysis button here. So here you can compare the kind of deposits that you get from various planets. For example, from Mars you could get silver, iron, carbon and hydrogen. And only silver is a rare mineral of those, so this is not very impressive. Also. There's no methane here, so you cannot produce fuel in Mars unless you import that. And let's take a look at Venus. Now Venus has both hydrogen and methane, and also two rare minerals, platinum and silica. So that's a pretty good place to go. Now, one annoying thing about this game is that you can only train people on Earth, so you will have to move people out from there. Now I will show you a good way to transport people from Earth efficiently. I have already trained four groups of these pilots. You know how to do it, now you do it in this training screen. Now, the next thing is I will have in my shuttle a team pod and also I will use the pilot space for transferring people. So the regular pilot of the shuttle goes on the on the vacant place here and then the shuttle will transport two groups of people every one go so you will put one pilot here and the other pilot here and launch back up and then what I like to do is put the pilot here and the other pilot here again go back down there's one pilot there one there get back up and back here we will put this pilot here the regular pilot goes back to the crew place and then the final one there. So now we have crew for a few iOS that we will need in the future. Next up, what you want to do is go and produce things. So for every expansion you will need, of course, a lot of these factory sections, 8 to be exact. And you will need three tool pods, one iOS chassis, and one drive unit. And a cargo computer will be necessary at some point eventually, so you might as well make that one too. So just let some time pass and build these things. I will jump cut to where I have. Uh, moved seven of those frames in place. Okay, so I have moved almost all of the frames to Venus, so I move just one more there and some crew too. So I launch my iOS towards Venus then, and I'll finish that building. So now we'll have a factory there. And I'll move some people in there too, so I can produce and uh, make the surface base. So I'll need these builders to build stuff there and I'll need crew there later. So, and of course we need to move back to Earth and transport some uh, cargo there to show that we have materials to build things in Venus. So I'll move a little bit of time forward, I'll jump cut to where I have materials in there. So I have set one more iOS to move stuff with auto cargo computer, so I can follow here on Venus as things get moved to stores. I can click here to see what I need to make resource station sections. Uh, so I need platinum and silver and silica still, so I can follow here as things move there and when I have enough resources I can start making those. 
Unlike going to the moon surface, here we will need these uh, uh, resource station sections. The installation repair equipment will do you no good here. So, once you have resources, you will want to make a shuttle drive unit. Oh, of course, you need to move some people to production. Yes, so make shuttle drive unit and uh, shuttle chassis and a tool pod and two resource station sections and then you should uh, make make the shuttle move pilot in there you will need it and also resource station frame and the engine and let's not forget to fuel our shuttle. So just two trips on each of these uh, orbiting stations to make a surface space. That's one and then the other. Once we have that, we must remember to make these mining rigs. And it's of course easier if you make auto operations computer, so you can start mass producing things. Two clicks and things are underway. You can follow here how many you have. number of derricks keeps rising you'll need eighth again and just one trip will take them all down there and then you will have to move the shuttle of course back up and put those derricks in there land and Take the derricks off, right, and then put them here, and back up, and make one of those supply pots again, and put that on. You should also make one of those auto cargo computers, and then it must be installed, of course. And then turn it on, move everything up from the surface to the orbit. You'll need nothing on the surface. And let it let it do its thing. Now repeat these steps for two more bases. You want to have a total of five bases. What I have found are good places to go are some of the moons on Jupiter. I shall be expanding to Callisto and Leda. You might choose another places, but these are pretty pretty good places to go. See you next time. I will make those five bases ready you should also expand to two more places so you have five of total bases don't make the sixth one yet i'll tell you later why but it's important to just have five bases in the next step